having a little tire trouble. Uh, these tires that are on this uh, trailer dolly are actually for something like a wheelbarrow and they work real good for my uh, canoe, canoe dolly for many years but they've got dry rot. They won't hold air. Now I put them on the on the trailer dolly when the original wheels failed. The original tires are are just little tiny things. Uh, they're not not real big, but the wheel is really cheaply made. And when you get something that has the weight that that camper does on these little wheels, they bend. Uh, I mean, they they bend sideways. So they wobble as they roll. So that's no good at all. So you want to see what the new tires look like? Now this. This company is really fast. It's uh, Tyler Wilkerson from Treadway USA. I ordered this two days ago and it's already here. Uh, it's just amazingly fast. And I'm hoping that the quality of the tire matches the quality of the service. And if so, these people will get my business for this type of thing from now on. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a tar. It's two tars. Two tars. Oh, and there's uh, new valve stems come with that too. So That's wonderful. Yep, got one for each. I'm going to tear, that, tear the old ones off and put the new ones on and see how that works. These are just held on with a cotter pin and a washer. I've already pulled that off. I wish that I hadn't I used the greasy stuff all over this thing to restore the tire because it's all coming off on my hands now. That's going to make this job really, really slippery. I've got the tire off the rim. I'll inspect the rim a little bit to find out if it has any problems or not. And I just realized there's welding splatter all over, all the way around. If if you can see the little little bits of welding splatter in the middle, it doesn't bother me in the middle. But whenever it gets right along this edge, that is where the tire gets the seal. Um, so I'm going to try and file some of that out of there before I mount the tire back on the rim. Now I wasn't going to worry about the valve stem, but since they sent new ones to go with the new tires, it wouldn't hurt to uh, go ahead and change that out as well. Uh, what we have to do is cut it off of this side, and then we uh, pull the new one through the same hole. Trying to cut it without cutting the metal. Uh, that didn't sound good. All right. There's the old one. Make sure there's no burrs.
Yeah, it's seated in there, right? That's good. So. Yeah, I've seen people use uh, soapy water. I've heard of them using transmission fluid and oil. But I just paint a little bit of grease around the edge of that. Okay. Just about ready to mount the second one. I'm just using uh, a little bit of axle grease. Or, yeah, it's a grease. Uh, Molly graph. Graphite, greasy. Let's put her around where the bead's going to be. Don't need a lot. It helps uh, helps the tire go on without tearing the rubber. And it also helps make that first seal. Grease attracts a lot of dirt, so it's probably going to end up with dirt around that. But that was what a uh, water hose is for. I don't think on this it doesn't really matter which side is out or in. All right, I keep forgetting. Easier. Do it this way. At least to get it started. down back this way. <laughs> Yo, I'm getting greasy in my thing. to slide up on the place where it's supposed to bead on one side and the other side is the only one I have to wrestle with so yep 
Let's see if I hold air. You say 70 PSI, so I'm not real sure. Solid. Close enough. I don't hear any leaks because it doesn't mean much. My hearing isn't what it used to be. That looks like a tire there though. Let's do the other one. exactly like a car tire where uh, it actually pops whenever it seats where you hear it, you hear a pop as it seats into place these don't do that 40 so you can see how the tire has gotten up against the outer part of the rim Except for around in the back lot, uh, 50 is going to be fine. Don't hear any air. They look pretty good. So let's try them on the dolly and see how that works. Issues rolling my trailer around in the back lot now. Quite a bit higher than it used to be.
Wonderful. Ooh, that's nice.